What's up, y'all? Mr. Mac here, aka Hijacker Mike, in the wrestling community. Going to check out a new cigar that we're going to have at the lounge here coming up in the next few weeks. Currently, I'm in Spanish Wells, Bahamas, on vacation with the family, and uh, going to go ahead and do a cigar review for you guys on spot. First cigar we're going to check out is the Christoph Guardrail Robusto. You guys can see that right there. Something new we're going to have in the lounge out at Ohlone, and uh, I'm going to check it out and see what we got. As you can see, it's wrapped in cellophane. Nice, uh, nice packaging. Keep the cigar protected. It's got the barcode on the back. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy up and see what we got here. As this is a Robusto, nice, rich, chocolate colored wrapper there. Really nice. Nice, dark. Looks like it's got a little oiliness to it. Mm, nice, earthy, rich, sweet tones in the uh, wrapper there so far. So this wrapper is Brazilian and the binder is Dominican. Dominican Republic and Zimbabwe. So once again, this is the Christoph guardrail. We're gonna check this out and see how it goes as the first smell of it, real earthy, real rich, real oily Maduro wrapper. So let's go ahead and give it a cut. We got our new triple cutter from my father right here that just came out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy with a V cut, even though it has a tail on the top. I love my V-cut. All right. It's a nice draw there. Very smooth, very open. No uh, no hampers with breathing in on the uh, dry puff draw. And since I couldn't fly with a torch, I had to get an inexpensive torch out here in the Bahamas because you know when you fly out of the country, you can't really bring your own torch. You can, but you got to get fuel out here. And where we are, I don't believe there's much fuel to be picked up. Real smoky, has a little wrap on the front end. First couple of puffs, real earthy, real smooth, touch of sweetness. Okay. As we are out here vacationing in the Bahamas. Right now we got a little bit of a rain, but it's not gonna hamper the cigar smoking session. Real earthy, a little botanicals, nice and smooth. Not overpowering, real rich. Nice touch, not overpowering. Touch of pepper, not too much, not overpoweringly with spice, but a nice little touch of pepper to give you that little kind of flavor. So the origin of this cigar is from the Dominican Republic. The wrapper is Brazilian. The filler is Dominican Republic as well as Zimbabwe. The length is five and a half inches, as well as the ring gauge is a 54. As you can hear the rain coming down. It's pouring out here pretty good. So this cigar comes in a box of 20 and the retail is about $204 for that box of 20. The release date was back in October of 22 last year. So all out here vacationing in the Bahamas, we got a couple of nice days. Got to hit the ocean and do a little swimming. Oh, we got a little bit of lightning out there. As I'm about a quarter through the cigar, nice little sweet flavor to it due to the wrapper and the nice filler inside the cigar. Burning a little fast. It's been in the humidor for about two weeks now. But really good flavor. Not bad. I can let it sit for a minute to catch up. So far, the cigar has a really good flavor. Real earthy, real botanical. Nice and smooth, not overpowering. Something that, something that's the Maduro that could be for everybody. Most Maduros are real rich and medium to full body. This is a nice medium body cigar. Guardrail, I'm impressed so far getting through almost half of the cigar. 
As you can probably hear the rain, I'm not sure how I'm coming out until I edit later on, but you can hear the rain coming out. And I'll, I'll show some pictures. Not gonna put a damper on the vacation. We're still out here having a good time, relaxing, and getting away from everyday life. Enjoying a cigar in the Bahamas. As I'm getting close to halfway through the cigar, it's getting a little, a little bit of a chocolatey note. Real earthy still, still earthy. A little bit of grass, a little bit of cedar maybe, but a real nice, rich, chocolatey cocoa flavor I'm getting halfway through. As you may or may not know, I am a diehard Oakland A's fan. I'm fighting to keep my team rooted in Oakland, which born and raised, I live a few miles from Oakland. So I'm at pretty, pretty much, I'm at pretty much a lot of the games. And I missed the Unite the Bay series that started the other night, but a lot of fans and friends of mine were out there fighting to keep the team with the Giants, as if you noticed on TV, if, if you caught any of that. We're trying to get John Fisher to sell the team. We need the Rays to stay rooted in Oakland. They belong in Oakland. They, they don't belong to go to Las Vegas. So you'll be seeing me a lot over the next few months, year or so to keep my team as I talk about my cigars, have a cigar. I may chop it up with you a little bit about the baseball team. We're not looking good right now. We're on pace to have the worst record in Major League Baseball in forever, but we're fighting to keep the team rooted. They don't belong in Las Vegas. They let them have an expansion team. John Fisher, son of the team. Still coming down pretty good here. Even halfway through my cigar, still coming down pretty good. Oh, there's a little bit of lightning if you caught the reflection. We're supposed to go out and have dinner, but uh, we drive around the island in golf carts and the rain is going to hamper us from possibly going out to dinner, so we're hoping it stops before the restaurant we decide to head to close. More thunder in there, more lightning. Probably sitting at about a humidity of about 82. The last time I checked, the humidity was at about 77%, 7% over a typical humidor. But as of right now, I believe we're sitting at about an 82% humidity. Eh, sweating a little bit, but you know what? I'll risk it for a little bit of a cigar. How about you, baby? Yeah, she'll, she'll, she's enjoying her cigar too, with a little bit of humidity and a beer. What kind of beer are you drinking there, baby? She has a pledge to excel, a Bahama beer. She says it's their number one beer. So if you ever come out to the Bahamas, pledge to excel, number one beer. She says it goes great with the cigar. There you go, ladies. If you're ever out in the Bahamas, pledge to excel with your cigar. Check it out. You know, out in California, even when we did have our rainstorm, we weren't getting rain like this. It is absolutely pouring right now. My shoes are getting a little bit wet, but my feet aren't wet. But it is absolutely storming. I can't remember the last time I ever seen rain like this. You can see all the water coming down from the drain there. It is coming down. We're definitely going to have to dry off the golf cart when we take off tonight for dinner. So far, so good. This is a cigar I would recommend somebody trying that is interested in Kristoff if you have not had a Kristoff cigar. This is my second. I forget which the first one I had was, but that one was a decent cigar. I'll have to look at my bands to see what I did have. I do like to collect my bands and from time to time I like to write notes on the back of them to say what I've tasted and what I feel about the 
car and if I pick it up again or not. But I can't remember the last time I've actually sat and smoked a cigar in the rain. Well, not directly in the rain, but while it's raining outside. I guess they say it does rain harder when you're on an island in the middle of the ocean. What do we have, the Caribbean on one side and the Atlantic on the other? What's that? In the Bahamas, we're right above Cuba, and below Cuba, where we were last year, was Jamaica. It is nice. Even with the, with the rain, the rain is fairly cool, but it is warm. It is warm right now. So you can sit outside without a jacket on, similar to what I'm doing right now. You know, everybody's down for uh, NFL coming up around the corner. Not too far around the corner, your team. Throw in the, uh, in the chat or the comment section, who's your team and who you plan to go for this year? Do you have a team? Do you smoke cigars while you're watching your team? Tell me about it. Let's check it out. Let's smoke one together. Used to be a certain team fan in Oakland. I'm not going to say their name. My baseball team's trying to go to the same city and location my old football team was. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Tell me about your team and your favorite cigar to smoke on Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, or even Sunday night or Monday night football. A little more than halfway through the cigar, the sweetness is still there. The earthiness is still there. Getting a little more pepper than I did at the beginning, so it's got, got a little bit of that black pepper kick to it. Not overpowering, not bad. Let me check out the retro hell and see how I get the flavor and kick off of that. Okay. A little more sweetness on that retro hail, a little more creaminess off of it. Really solid. Creaminess and sweetness on that retro hail. Don't get much of the pepper I taste in my mouth right now just from smoking. But that retro hail, I like that. Nice kick of thunder right there. Might have to get back inside soon. Really nice cigar so far. Very pleasant, very tasteful. If you're an earthy person, I would recommend this with a touch of sweetness. This does really come off as an earthy cigar person. A little bit of grass, a little bit of cedar, a little bit of botanicals. Really nice. Kind of feels like you're walking through an open field with maybe some flowers, some tall grass and weeds growing. Very flavorful. Not overpowering, and then the touch of sweetness. So maybe ladies, you like sweet cigars? I know in California we can't sell them anymore, but whatever state you're in, this might be a good alternative that has a touch of sweetness if you like a nice medium body cigar. Oops, lightning. Maybe y'all saw that glowing off of me. That crack of thunder just shook my hat right there. Think we're under an overhang, right, babe? Because uh, I would seriously doubt our cigars would stay lit if we were out in that rain. I agree. Like I said, this is the first time smoking a cigar while it's raining outside, other than being indoors. But we're under a nice overhang here where we're staying at. But if you get a chance to come out, take a trip to the islands, the Bahamas, highly recommended. Highly recommend it. First time out here, family vacation. We brought the boys. Very peaceful, very quiet. Just wanted a nice vacation away from everyday life. Private Don't need island. to. What's that, babe? Private island. Private island. Beach is right here. Beach is probably a football field right behind our uh, Airbnb home we're renting. Golf carts all over the island. Spanish Wells is a beautiful place if you want to get away from the city life. If you don't want to be around the club and crowds, they got a few restaurants that are phenomenal, great drinks. And the people, what did you say, honey? The people here are beautiful. They are talkative, informative, and they give you information and they make you feel welcome. You're driving up and down the street, 
Now, out here, they drive on the left side of the road, as in America, we drive on the right side of the road, so that took a minute to get used to and eh, kind of finagle. But, and I'd say probably 90% of the people is waving to you as they pass by, throw up the deuces, you know, the Playboy Bunny ears, brother, sister. So brothers of the leaf, sisters of the leaf, this is a great place to come out to. That's about 1,600 people on the island? Definitely. I like this place. Actually, I love this place. We went to Jamaica last year. Jamaica was beautiful. This is just as beautiful out here with a little bit of twist of different type of living out here. Now, on the island we currently are on, you'll get liquor store type cigars, black and mild, Swisher Sweets, and things like that. You won't get premium cigars like I'm smoking here but if you're watching this video, I already know you're a premium cigar smoker, so I don't think you're looking for backwoods or back and miles. Those, I heard those are for other type of activities. <laughs> we'll talk about that in another time. Honey, it's just a damn shame the Oakland Coliseum don't let us have cigars while watching the game live. But if I was a part of Howard Terminal where we should be building, I'd have a cigar lounge in there for the cigar smokers. Hell, I'd even have an on-deck circle area for the cigarette smokers. Hello. Hello. You know, I know Hello. cigar smokers and cigarette smokers are two different lifestyles, but you got to cater to both. Absolutely. I agree. So I, I, I am not going to hate on either. Mm -hmm. I just know we have to be separate from one another when we're enjoying our uh, time, even though when you smoke a cigar... You're smoking from an hour to maybe two to two and a half hours on a stick. So, you know, you're relaxing. Cigarette smokers tend to smoke five, ten minutes, and they're off and running unless they grab another. But you know us cigar smokers there, player, player. We're going to sit and relax and enjoy our flavors. So here I am halfway through my cigar, as you can see here. Still rich, still creamy, still touch of sweetness. Nice botanicals, very good flavor, very good smoke so far. I would definitely pick these up, folks. Like I said, nice Maduro, real chocolatey rich look in there. Real chocolatey. About to remove the band in a minute as my ash is getting close to it. I would definitely pick some of these up, folks. These are a very good earthy, sweet, a little bit of cocoa and chocolate in it. Very good flavor. Leaves a nice taste in the mouth. Really good, folks. Something I would definitely pick up and have in my rotation in my humidor at home. Uh, the only thing out here is I couldn't bring my torch so I went to the liquor store and I picked up a nice little torch which starts off blue and turns red. Inexpensive. I believe this torch was maybe two bucks. So I can I can bleed it later and pack it and take it home with me because I actually like it. A little two dollar torch. Not that bad, man. Not bad at all. See it starts off blue and it slowly starts turning red as it gets hotter. Really nice torch for the price. A couple bucks, not bad at all. So as I'm reading here, the guardrail, the Christoph guardrail pays homage to a serious motorcycle accident that involved Glenn Case, the founder of Christoph Cigars. This guardrail is a medium to full body blend cigar with tobaccos from Brazil, the Dominican, and Zimbabwe, which the tobacco from Zimbabwe is rare and unique. As we're getting down to the back third of the cigar, still very smooth, still earthy. The earthiness has gotten a little stronger, which is a rich, rich, earthy, grassy, cedary notes I'm getting off of this bad boy. Really like it, really like it. Now I'm getting into a little more pepper. Now I'm getting into a little more black peppery. Not overpowering, but a nice little kick, if you like black pepper in your cigar. For those that don't know about me, my name is Mike, Mr. Mac, in the music industry when I was a producer. Still do a little bit here and there. I work on music and intro for a wrestling podcast called The Nation's Corner. 
as well starting my Smoke in the Bay cigar review, which uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put that in there. This is Smoke in the Bay, which I'm starting a cigar review. My name is Mike. I do work at a cigar lounge in Fremont, California. So you are far, if you are in the Bay Area, stop by, man. Say what's up. Say, hey, you seen the review? In the wrestling industry, I go by Hijacker Mike, which the name was given to me by Doug Mortman and Dave LaGreca on Busted Open Radio, which is a wrestling show that comes on Sirius XM five days a week, six days a week. Been listening to that since they came out 13 years ago, back in 2009. Been a big fan. I am a diehard wrestling fan. I work for Big Time Wrestling, BTW, Kirk White's BTW, rest in peace to Kirk. Very good dude. He got a nice wrestling company started out there. So if you're ever in the area and you want to see some wrestling, we bring in former WWE and AEW talent, and we have our own talent there as well. Very good professional wrestling show, kid-friendly. So if you're ever in Newark, California, stop by the Newark Pavilion, which we have a show tomorrow, which I'm unfortunately missing because I'm out here on vacation with the family. So it happens, but we all need our breaks. But if you're a wrestling fan, Hijacker Mike, The Nation's Corner is the wrestling podcast, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. As we're getting close to the end, still got some sweetness to it, real earthy flavor. That pepper is starting to kick in. Not overpowering, but I can taste the spice from the pepper, the black pepper. Like I said, let me know what you smoke. Let me know what you like. If there's something you want me to review, let me know. I'll see if we got it at the lounge, or maybe I can order it, and I'll review it for you. As you can see, my cigar is pretty much caught back up. It's burning very evenly. No issues, haven't ran into any issues. The flavor's been great. The ash is burning perfectly. Nice little gray, little black. Man, this is a good cigar. I, I am impressed. I am glad we are getting these in the shop so I can grab some more. Like I said, if you're in the Bay Area in California, stop by Fremont, Ohlone Cigar Lounge. Come on in. As you see, I'm down to about my last third of the cigar here. Very good. This cigar is wrapped nicely. It has not fallen apart. I V-cut it. It is holding very well. Some cigars we notice when you cut them, they start to unravel on you and it can be a problem. Bits of the tobacco get in your mouth. Nah, not this one. This one is a very well-made cigar. Christoph Guardrail, yes. Well, as I'm wrapping up here, guys, like I said, this has been a great cigar. So this one, like I said, is wrapper is a Brazilian Maduro. The binder is a Dominican Republic and the filler is a Dominican Republic and Zimbabwe. This is a medium strength cigar. Hey, thanks for joining me tonight. Hope to see you around for some future episodes and let me know what you're smoking, man. It's time to go finish off dinner. Enjoy what the rest of the island and Spanish Wells has to offer. Peace.